Hello and welcome to a, a January update for Squad. Now I know I haven't been doing many Squad videos, that's because nothing's really been happening in the Squad universe. And I'm sure you don't want to be looking at me playing just footage over and over again. I did the podcast, they weren't that popular, but I think we'll probably do another one, maybe a couple more, see how it goes. And if um, we keep getting all the thumbs downs, then we'll jack it on the head. There are plenty of other people who've jumped on the bandwagon and they're doing uh, Squad casts now. So... Let's jump in and have a look. And yes, I've got a bloody cold. Can't get rid of that damn thing. So let's jump in and have a look at the January update. Let's just come out. And the first thing we'll see is the effects update by Bruno. Now, you can actually see this video on my channel at the minute. I've put it up as a separate video. Bruno's done some great work on the smoke grenades. And the uh, basic, well, as it says, the visual effects. Smoke now won't go through walls, which is something I've always wanted in um, games where you get to use smoke grenades. You throw the smoke grenade and magically it goes through the walls and ceilings and things like that. <coughs> Not very realistic. Uh, but it looks like Bruno's got that sorted. And we've also got proper smoke propulsion systems that actually come out where the fuse is and not out of the actual hole grenade um, in itself, which is which is brilliant. Um, a nice touch. Um, the, the biggest update for me out of all that is that smoke won't go through walls. That's just amazing. So you could smoke a room and somebody on the other side of the building may not even know the smoke in there. Whereas before, the smoke would go literally straight through the wall. And as you can see, uh, that's the old system. The smoke will just it'll just go through this wall. And on the new system, if I can find it, there you go. Smoke will not go through, which is just absolutely fantastic. <coughs> Now, another big update we've got in Squad is True Sky. Now, True Sky gives us, literally, realistic skies. I honestly don't remember what the skies look like without jumping back into Squad at the minute. Because um, most of the time, you're looking up ahead and you're looking at what you're fighting at. But, obviously, True Sky system brings the light in and changes it completely. As you can see, there's just a quick animated GIF here. Uh, not sure whether this is going to be in 4.0 or whether this is something they're still implementing. But, as you can see... Very nice. I mean, just look at that. That is incredible. That's wow. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see whether True Sky affects your frame rate. It shouldn't do because these are plates. Um, real time lighting would be fantastic, as in the sun goes down during a, a combat, a large fight. Whether that's in again, I'm not too sure, but uh, very nice indeed. As you can see here. Really nice lighting down here coming off that sun. Very nice. As you can see, that's a volumetric cloud, so it will actually be real 3D clouds. Very nice. We've also got some new weapons coming in. We've got the KS-23, which is the big mother shotgun. Now, if you've played Project Reality, the Breacher, which was the guy that had the grappling hook, uh, who could blow doors open and things like that, he had the shotgun. So I'm guessing that those classes are going to be coming in the future, the Breacher class. Um... Basically the first man to go in. I'm sure everybody's going to want to be, as they are with sniper rifles, everybody wants to be sniper noobs, cod noobs. Everyone's going to be wanting to be shotgun noobs now. Everyone's going to be wanting that shotty. But that'll die down eventually. It's only because it's a new weapon and everybody wants to try it. But yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of... We're pushing the boundaries out a little bit now on what's going in with squad, and that's fantastic. Uh, feels like we've been in a bit of a lull for a little bit. Um, but new weapons, of course, is really exciting. And we've also got the Pish 41. Now, I'm surprised this is in the game, but I suppose if the the, the Russia and the, and the uh, Militia are going to be using it, then uh, why not? I thought this was a World War II weapon, but maybe that's what the Militia use. You know, they get their hands on any old weapon they can get out and get their mitts on. And um, having used this weapon in other games, um, uh, name goes off the top of my head now. I've been playing it recently. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this thing chucks out some serious lead. And you certainly don't want to be on the other end of this at close quarters. Not a weapon for mid to long range, but uh, up close and personal. It's probably quite a good fight against the shotty if you get the shot out first. Very nice. I mean, as you can see, we come with the uh, clip and the uh, and the drum drum as well. IEDs. Absolutely awesome. Fucking yes. Now, I only wish that, that there was... Um, IEDs that you didn't need the phone to let them go off, as in you can put the IED at the side of the road and it was pressure sensitive. I hope that does come, because otherwise you're going to get 
what I think will be a lot of camping with this weapon. You'll get one class who'll put the IED down in an alleyway and just camp for 5-10 minutes and blow it up. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope we get the pressure plate version as well. Um, I'm sure it'll be like Project Reality where you'll take the phone out and you'll actually see a finger pressing the buttons before it goes off. And I just hope Bruno is going to put in a rather nasty, aggressive um, cloud I was going to say a mushroom cloud, but it's probably not going to be that big. Well, depending on how big the IED is. Uh, that'll probably come with the Gary trucks, which are the suicide bomb trucks, which I'm sure will be coming through in Project Reality. Uh, very nice the model again. Whether you'll just literally put them on the ground, or whether it'll actually, a bit of an animation, it'll go under the, the terrain. Um, time will tell. But yeah, definitely a very cool weapon. And I'm guessing it'll just be for the insurgents, Taliban. Um, the Russians probably won't get any of this stuff. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, they're also working on the new soldiers as well. And it says that they've had a break since Christmas. These are going to be replacing the uh, the American Army models at the minute. Again, not too much to say about them. Obviously, they look cool. Not quite sure what camo they're going to be putting on these. Um, I just hope they can make the faces look a little less gormless. Some of the Russian ones on Phil's Road <laughs> they look like mongs with big ears. Um, these look better so time will tell time will tell uh, new environments as well uh, they did mention that they were going to be updating a lot of the maps, putting in new buildings structures, uh, roadways and things like that and as you can see um, Fulls Road we've now got this hilltop estate more buildings means more areas to defend you can get in, shoot out these windows etc etc uh, very cool, like an old disused mansion here. Uh, or well, well, it's an estate, isn't it? Um, yeah, lots of these little uh, uh, walls here, you know, for firing out of. Very nice. And um, some new houses, which is really cool. There are already some of these in Fulls Road down at the bottom near the railway. Uh, the first objective, I think, is for the Ruskies. So yeah, more buildings again. I do like the fact that we can uh, these areas up here we can shoot out. It'd be nice to maybe have a lot of a little bit broken here, so you get line of sight with the RPK or one of the suppressive weapons down here. Very nice. And look at that. It almost looks like a different game. This just looks like DayZ or Armor or Ch uh, Generous, is it? Um, some of the villages coming down here. So we have fought in this. I'm not sure if all these are new. I think some of these were already in because we played a match recently on Fool's Road with Redcoats, and um, I seem to remember. There were some of these buildings on here because we were actually sat up up on here firing RPGs down. So, yeah, very nice. New industrial train depot. Again, all these sort of buildings are very cool. You can imagine all your uh, infantry along here. Um, yeah, nice. I do wish um, on the current uh, forest map, a lot of these glass, you can't shoot the glass out, which is a real shame. I'm sure Bruno eventually will be adding physics to these. Uh, being able to shoot them out, it would be nice to have the glass shatter, etc, um, etc. Et so these are not like bulletproof glass. Very, very cool. Uh, so now we're getting actual real railway depots, all these different buildings up here. Um, the game really is developing now and changing, and with every update, the, the game... We basically have to start again, we have to learn the maps again. And when vehicles come in, that's just going to be tenfold. Really, really nice. You can see the lighting is really nice. I don't know whether this has implemented the true sky, and that's why it's so really nice. <coughs> Very nice indeed. I mean, even the detail on it. We're almost get almost getting into Battlefield 4 map detail here. Instead of it just being corrugated across, these guys are actually starting to put in really intricate, nice little details that you're probably not even going to notice when you're in there combat fighting along here. But little things now are starting to come in. Some really nice rust textures on here as well. It's coming on very, very nicely indeed. And we've also got a sneak peek at Gorodok, you fucking dork, which is a new map that they're working on, which is um, especially developed for vehicles, which will be coming. And, of course, 50 cals, which I've always wanted from the beginning, because I know with Anders and um, you know all the effects work, it's going to be terrifying. I want Eds to pop off when I fire that mother. I want it to be scary as fook. They're actually classed as a vehicle because the, the animation of the person has to get in and out. So that's why we haven't got them so far. But yeah, this is going to be a new map that's coming for vehicles. So we've got a real road here and uh, lots of intersections. IED, tastic there. Um, yeah, quite good. Very nice. Obviously not too much for us to look at as this is a work in progress. I mean, it could be fool's road, really. 
But it's great to know that they're working on another map. That's a fantastic screenshot, isn't it? They're also expanding Samari. Now, a lot of people are complaining about this, and there's a forum on the topics about why does Samari exist. It exists because you need to be a squad leader who's on point. You need to stick with your squad, and you will dominate on that map. What tends to happen is people stick with the squad leader. After a second or two, when a few of you have been killed, they all go lone wolf, they camp on the roofs, and that's it. And it spoils it, really, because there's some really tight little alleyways. And when the Humvees come out with the 50 cals on top, just blasting down those alleyways, th this whole map will change. You'll see. People who, who don't like this map, you'll see. It's a fantastic map. And uh, by the looks of it, they've expanded it by quite a lot. In fact, double, I think it says somewhere. So... That's not going to be in the next update, but that will be coming in future updates uh, for that map. And uh, yeah, version 4, it's coming very, very soon. So I hope you're uh, looking forward to getting back into squad. As I said, I've had a bit of time off. Well, I've just bought my first house, little terraced house. Uh, lots to do, so I haven't spent as much time on squad as I've wanted to. And I've kind of stayed away a little bit, so that when I come back, the update will be fresh. And it feels like I'll have that excited squad vibe again can't wait to get in and start doing some more videos and things like that so i hope you've enjoyed this little video a little bit of an insight from me i've been paraplays and this has been the january 2016 squad update thanks for watching i'll see you in another squad video real soon Bye bye